The Cassata by Hot Point WM63 Aquarius 1100 returns on the channel, this time to wash with Tide and Suavitel. So, keep yourselves tuned in, watch in HD because you are watching Florence Ballad A3060, the channel made in loving memory of the original Supreme Florence Ballad and Hoover's first 1100 RPM washing machine, the A3060 Electronic 1100. She's back on the channel again, the Cassata. A lot of people are wanting to know what I'm doing a video of this machine. Uh, the 9530 is plumbed in at the moment, so I thought I'd drag the Cassata out to this middle part. Um, sorry, there's not been a lot of washer videos recently. Uh, we've got the family from Australia around, um, who I was in the Bryson vlog with. That's where people are sleeping. But my mum and everyone have gone to Amsterdam for a couple of days, or a few days, so. Uh, because I wanted to stay at home for a bit and save money, you know, for Australia, I thought I'd take advantage of this. I'm going to bring the Miele over there at some point and see if we get the machine to chug by hooking the hose around the sink. But right now, I thought we'd do the Cassata with Tide. Got a load of bedding and towels and uh, some bag in there I've got. So I thought we'll do this late night boil wash because I have officially finished, um, as you know from my previous video, I have now finished my employment at Wyvel Garden Centres. So this is now officially now when Australia is uh, going to start and I'm going to be going around the UK to meet a lot of washer guys. So without further ado, let's get one loading this wonderful machine. I have made sure that I've buttoned up my bedding. So just bring the basket down there. We're doing bedding in towels. I don't normally combine these together. But because of this heat wave we're having, it's 36 degrees today it was. Um, I'm taking advantage of all the drying space. Because this house is so hot. This is going to make it hotter though. <laughs> it is currently, what time is it now? 23.16. I don't think the neighbours are going to be very happy with this machine. Going, but oh well, do I care? No. Look at that. Oh, we... I might not be able to fit everything in. I'll have to see. There's quite a lot of big towels in here. I'll try and squeeze a bit, because we want to get some towels in here. You know, suds lock. I won't do what I did the first time I loaded this machine. Um, I think, okay, let me just put in a couple of, let's put tea towels and J-cloth in. And I think, yeah, I think we should be, I think that might be good. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll just put those in and then that's it. I actually, to be honest, really, <laughs> I'm not going to put any more in. That's full enough as it is. That'd be an overload if I put anything more in there. Because there is still room at the top and the water will take that down. Let me just... Push it back from the drum, from the door, I mean. Turn the detergent in. Here we are. I'll do a big scoop, because we're trying to use this up now. <laughs> it's quite... Yeah, limey. Probably because it sits in that cupboard so much. It's all hard, it's all, it's all gone like solid. There we go. We'll see how this machine takes on tide. I think she'll do very well though. And the Suavitel, very Gloopy and thick. Now you've got to make an actual full cap. Last but 
not least, <coughs> Lime Scar Tablet. So we'll do program C, white co uh, pro program C, 95 degrees Celsius white cotton. my options super rinse and time saver and with that and we begin <clears throat> my, I might open a window in here because it's going to get very hot and steamy I'll ventilate the room early then Later. You probably might have noticed, I know mean, you haven't seen my face yet. And it's, I'm sweating quite bad. It's very, very hot. <clears throat> I've got this on our last pack of formal tablets. She would probably do a few top up fills. She needs nice and level as well. Just yeah, make sure I've leveled the machine. You know. Shouldn't go anywhere, but you never know with these hot points. Uh, that's yeah, that's definitely hot water going in there. Okay, levels getting to the bottom of the drum. I didn't put, didn't put the tea towels in, I wanted to give her a bit of room at the top. stand it all the time. So why these machines should tumble and fill at the same time? I always thought they did. to heating in a second. <clears throat> yeah, it advances again. Oh, it's program D. The machine is now on the initial heating phase where she goes up to 60 degrees. The water's pretty much at about 50 in there. It's another reason I don't normally combine bedding and towels as well, because it's too much of a full load. Well, I like having the machine out. I prefer having the machine out. Now. Oh, dual, dual fill now. Oh, and coal. I mean, increase water level. That'll be. 
Oh, hot and cold together. Elements, elements kicking back in now. See the top of the drum now. This machine just really sits around. It's where you realise with the 9530, although she does short tumbles, they are more close, more more frequent. That's just twice in each direction. That's the Aquarius wash system. Definitely we'll have to do one of the Mila next. <coughs> or I will have to get one of the Mila. Here, see if we can get the machine to chug. I may pre-record the last wash of that machine because I think around second week of August the machine's been shipped out. There we are, more another top up. Let me just see if we get a different... There. there we are. Finished heating. 60. The load's finally fully absorbed. Suspension sagging, of course. Back to regular cotton tumbles. Working up suds though, you won't until the spins really. <laughs> the drum goes back and forth like that. Watch how quickly the machine gets into the heat retaining stage. I do love the way the doors will crease on these machines, it's just because the suspension is very soft and the door sealers. Hang on. They are, the machine's going to go on the heat retaining station in a second. <clears throat> and that's actually when the machine gets up to 95. We are at 95 degrees, steaming away like a flying Scotsman, you probably can't see it. You can feel the heat in the kitchen though. <clears throat> it's, it's, it's like 14 minutes past midnight <laughs> and this thing's going to be doing 12 and a half hours. I'll close the kitchen door if I have to. 
but that's definitely taken down the, the sides. If I'd use um, Tesco Love's Baby, <coughs> I think that powder is designed to work at high temperatures. Um, so, even at 95, that can still remain sudsy. <laughs> Here we go. First intermediate spin. We're going to pour out our sink. This is going to be fun. Both are sound more prominent, like probably loud after a little of the pump. I just love how it, <coughs> the tumbling just speed just, you know, just gradually gets faster and faster and, and then when she starts to shoot. Feel the heat off that door glass, it's, it's incredible. Josh was here. Oh my goodness, that's unbalanced. That is unbalanced.
rinse. First rinse, delicate tumbles. Just topping up. Oh, so hot. She brings the water level back up. I've got them on the drum. Oh, the, oh my goodness, the whole side of the machine's boiling. Low level. Got with regular cotton tumbles. Tumb tumbling while filling as well, which is a good idea. You see weights, weights to basically. I love the bang from the solenoid. Heat off the door on this. Mm. 
a fast intermediate spin off this. Good idea though, tumbling while filling helps with the absorbency of the load. Right, I'm going to turn it around so you can see exactly. As you can see my face, I'm actually sweating. It's that hot there. But I love it. <laughs> Third intermediate spin, and this is the this is the fast intermediate, it's been up to 700 RPM. <clears throat> and then come the deep level rinses. See what happens. Should go up to 750, or 700 with the sozzle. I think it's 700 the machine does. The hose is dangling at the back of the machine, but I think there's too much water. I can get it, what happens to what from she spins? Watch the door. I don't think she's gonna sound like Anti-clockwise tumbles. Oh, I love doing videos with my machines. You'll see the suspension like really sag down on this one.
almost filled. You can probably see now what the time will do, it'll advance on. And it's day up. And here we go, watch this. This is proper rinsing. weight on that suspension. Suspension is probably stronger than I thought. See all the water there coming out of the towels, but that'll keep the inside of the machine cool now. what the results are. See if we get that funny where the machine pops out the water again. Oh, I don't know how hot it is. The machine's definitely made it hot though. It's sort of cooling down. But the final spins on balance. Flashlight going here so we can see inside. Definitely proves the amount of torque in that motor. Brilliant. Final rinse. With the swap itself. Deep 
that final rinse at the back. And then comes the final spin. That's an incredible water level though. A lot higher. It's a lot higher than the 95s. And the 180 series too. Poor suspension. <laughs> a lot of hot points do it, they, they all sag a bit. And my favourite part of is the vinyl spin. Spin. Here we go. What we all love the most. Crank this up a bit. That's better. That's it. Alright, let's see what she does then. balance is it? I've forgotten the machine doesn't rebalance. God. Wow! I, I was I was ready to run out of the kitchen now, literally. Probably do it again. Oh, that's good. I wonder if that might skip the first burst now. Now that is something I understand the machine would stop to rebalance. That was, that was dangerously unbalanced, that was. Kai Grant, he's got WM63, he showed me a video on Instagram of his machine, and his machine has practically lifted off the floor while spinning. I've never had a WM range jump on out on me. Did, well, no. I have had the W51 do it. This machine has, has shifted slightly while spinning. We're just going to do it again, aren't we? Yeah, we're just very... We're just, yeah, look, I'm balanced again. Oh, God, here we go again. Not as bad as I think. No, still pretty down on balance. Spin that. Yeah. That's a bit of a, a bit of a knock there if you heard that. Oh my god. Whoa. And this is gonna rattle the house down. Here we go. 
or neighbours.
you down the stable out here, actually. Compared to the other spot. Everything stuck to the side. Uh, I, can, I can do this load in the hot in 9.30 tomorrow actually. Ooh. 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 Close the windows here. That was amazing that spin. the bag there. Very off that one. The only machine was a washer dryer, leave her drying overnight. That's where the unbalanced part is there. That's where the Cycle. It's quite nice out in the kitchen here. Yeah, now everything falls out. That's my bedding there. Yeah, all done pretty good actually. You see where oh, it's a classic American smell. <laughs> Although I'll be using some of the Omo though to get the Australian smell into these machines. Still quite a little bit warm. I'm gonna go out a line. Because tonight it's like 20 degrees or something, I don't know how much. Oh, felt that. There we go, nice and clean. Well guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video as much as I did. I definitely had fun having this machine out here. I'm going to keep her out here for the, uh, keep her out here for the remainder of her time here. Um, well, see, well, mum's away. So give the 9.3 a little rest. Although this machine was the daily driver in it. Um, yeah, so I, I thought I'd roll this one out as well. Nice way to celebrate finishing my my work. Um, and now this means this machine is pretty much done every detergent now, I think. Oh no, no, we, we haven't done Surf Gems in this machine. That will probably be the last wash I'll do in this machine before she gets shipped out. <clears throat> so I'm just trying to I'm just trying to get all the detergents through every machine. Done the hot point, done the Miele, we've done the cassata, just need to do the Hoover A3060. Uh, and I can shed some good light on that machine actually. Probably will be getting that machine up and running maybe next week. Um, just need to get the motor sorted a bit. Uh, but yeah, it's all looking good for that machine. Um, just want to get her out a few times here. I'm going to, as I said, drag the Miele out onto this spot as well. 
and I'll try and see if we can get the machine to chug. If we don't, she'll chug in Australia. Um, so yeah, aside from that, a couple of hairdryer videos I'm gonna do, and I, uh, a lost and found from the vaults one. Uh, and so we want to always say, guys, thank you for everyone who you know supports my channel and whatnot. Um, I will be probably doing some recognition, some, just some people that I you know want to give a shout out to, both on YouTube and off YouTube as well. But I know there's people who don't have a YouTube channel that do watch my videos. Um, or if they have a YouTube channel, they, they don't post anything on it. They think they're just there to comment sometimes. Um, but I may be going to see the laundry centre, Chris, on Tuesday. Um, he's actually going to help wire up my A3060 motor for me and he's going to test it on one of his machines. I think he's going to test it on his computer control 1100. Um, because he's the one who sent me the replacement parts for it, but I haven't a clue what to do when it comes to, uh, to crimping and whatnot. So I just said I'd rather let someone else do it that knows about it because I don't want to screw that machine up anymore. <laughs> I think, I think I've cursed that A3060. It'd be nice to get that machine back on the channel though. We'll have her out here again. And while I'm there... Um, I know he's got a Hoover Matchbox dryer that was scrapped, so I'm going to ask him if I can borrow the wheels off it, and we can try and get that machine nice and level on her own wheels. Uh, but no, apart from that, that's just what's to come, really. Um, so I'm not really doing vlogs with the family, because I'm letting them settle in first. You know, I don't want them to appear on camera too much without them knowing where it's going and whatnot. Just let them... They're trying to adapt to the whole thing of the washing machines at the moment, so, you know, just trying to ease things in but yeah uh, that's how it goes at the moment um, we'll, we'll just see really I will be doing some bus videos uh, traveling on the on buses in London well through Kensington and whatnot I want to try and get some of those through route 328 etc uh, well yeah route 328 etc and yeah that's just how it'll go so thank you very much for watching guys and as always don't forget to keep it supreme and go with the flow.